One of the most highly requested features by Bluebeam customers is the ability to easily draw a markup to a specific scale. In Review 2015, our new Sketch Tools feature now allows you to create markups to scale. I can now add markups to a floor plan and specify exact dimensions as I draw based on the scale of my drawing. This can be used for site planning, by landscape architects, if you're working out an installation detail, or for anyone just needing to illustrate additional details on a shop drawing to scale. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now I'm going to open up a site plan sheet here. Before I begin using the sketch tools, I want to calibrate reviews tools to the scale of my PDF. In this case, I see it is 1 inch equals 20 feet. So I'm going to open up my measurements tab on the right hand side and just check the scale. And I see here that it is already set up, so that's correct. Always a good practice to make sure you check that before you start using the sketch tools. Uh, now, let's say uh, in this case, I want to show that we need to put a 24 by 40 foot office trailer right next to this parking lot. There are a few different options for how you can sketch. Their sketch tools are going to be found under markups. And we have a new command here called sketch with a drop down. And you can see your four options are a polygon, rectangle, ellipse, or polyline. In this case, I need just a simple rectangle. So I'm going to click my mouse down on the first point and you'll notice it's going to open up a little pop-up window there where I can enter in the dimensions that I want this rectangle to be. In this case, I want a 24 foot width. And as soon as you enter in that first number, all you want to do is hit tab, hit nothing else, and that will tab over to the next dimension. In this case, I want a 40 foot height. And my rotation is going to remain zero when I'm done and I want to place that sketch tool down on the PDF, just hit enter. And we have it drawn now 20 foot by 40 feet. There's a couple different ways that you can actually work with our sketch tools and I encourage you to just experiment with what works best for you. If you wanted to just work with one hand, you could actually choose to just literally drag out just like you normally would with our shape tools and you'll see that pop-up window is going to appear showing you what those dimensions are and you can draw it to the dimensions that you need. In this case I have snap to markup set up so it's actually snapping to that existing markup there. Let's now take a look at some of our other sketch tools. Let's say for this example that I need to place a mini crane in this area and I need to make sure that I have at least a 40 foot radius. I can use my ellipse sketch tool for this. Go back up to markups, select ellipse. Then all I need to do is click my mouse down and then enter in my desired radius, in this case 40 feet. And that's going to hit enter and that's going to place the ellipse with the 40 foot radius down onto my drawing. You can also use the polyline tool for drawing pretty much any shape you need. For this example, I'm going to open up a different drawing. And let's say I want to make some notes on this installation detail to send off to someone. And I want to show that we really need a one foot extension on this parapet. So I'm going to actually add that onto this existing drawing here. I'm going to use the polyline for that. Before I do that, I actually want to double check since I did open up a new drawing, I want to double check the scale. It's currently one foot equals one inch. And I'm going to check that and see that yes, it's already set up and stored in the page here. I'm going to select my polyline tool. So I'm going to click my mouse to place the first point down. I want this to be one foot in length. And in order to make the line go up, I need to set the rotation to be 90 degrees. I'm going to hit enter. And that's going to place that first line down. Now when I want the line to go across, I'm going to enter the width. In this case, it's going to be one feet also. And the rotation is going to remain zero. I'm going to hit enter to place that line down. Then I want that line to go back down. So I'm going to hit one feet again. And to make the line go down, I'm going to set it to be negative 90. And that's going to place that line down. I'm going to hit enter and then enter a second time to place that polyline down onto this drawing. 
I can then go in and add a call out and make any sort of note that I need to make. You'll notice that our sketch tools show up in orange. That's to distinguish them from our other markup tools. But of course, you can change that in your markup properties if you'd like. You can also, of course, save any of the sketch tools into a tool set. You'll also definitely want to check out the new dynamic tool set scaler video to see more about how you can scale your tool set markups. You can use our sketch tools for creating site objects, furniture, symbols, and more. And we really look forward to hearing more about all the ways you're using these tools on your next project.